What's up guys, it's Eli. Welcome back to the channel for another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my workflow using the Machine Micro MK3, the machine and software in Logic. This setup is a little bit redundant, but it actually works for me. And the reason why I chose to go with that setup is because I have been using Logic for, for a little while now to create my beats. And I recently added the machine micro to my workflow. With that new addition came the need to readjust my workflow. And I did not want to get rid of Logic because I have been using it for quite a while. And like I said, my workflow has already been built around that and I'm comfortable. And I did not want to have to relearn or reset up a whole new workflow. So I wanted to make sure I can take full advantage of the machine micro while keeping my current workflow. So I looked into using the Machina software that comes with machine micro inside of Logic and it works flawlessly. So I wanted to take full advantage of that and um, be able to basically enhance my workflow instead of having to recreate it. And um, I watched a lot of these videos on how to do this. And while there's a lot of great videos out there that shows you exactly how it can be done, I found a lot of them were doing things that um, were not quite necessary. So I decided to look into how can I bypass those things that I found not to be necessary. And surely enough, you can actually do that. You don't have to export the tracks out of machina into logic to make it work you can actually do your entire uh, project inside of machina inside of logic and have it just work right so um i was creating this beat today and i figured i would show you guys exactly how i go about doing that now uh, for this video i'm not going to show you guys the hardware itself because that's not really the important part of the workflow here the and the important part is how do i make the machina software work with logic so i can take full advantage of all the features that the machine micro has now if you use the machine micro in midi mode it works in logic and it works just fine but there's certain features of the machine micro that you just don't have access to logic has one of the best sound library for music production out there and the machine micro its integration with the machina software is um, just amazing so to get the best of both worlds, what i did i basically combined the two where i can take full advantage of the machine micro while still taking advantage of the sound library that comes with um logic if you're finding value in this video make sure to drop a like and comment down below to show your support to this channel and if you are new don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification for more videos like this and if you'd like to find a way to support the channel you can see that i am rocking that part by eli t-shirt you can get yourself one all you have to do is just hit us up in the back end of the channel find out how you can order and we'll set you up with your very own part by eli t-shirt and by the way, you can also order your own custom made t-shirt through Proud by Eli as well. Um, just let us know what you want on your t-shirt and we can create that for you. Let's get into this video. All right, so this is the beat that I've been working on and uh, I'm getting ready to do some of the routing so I can start mixing. So I figured uh, this would make a great video to show you guys my workflow of Machina inside of Logic. The first thing you wanna do, you want to open up an instance of Machina. I already have one open. As I said, I've been working on this beat, but when you are opening one, make sure you have the multi output selected, All right? So that's the version that you want to open. If you open up the stereo version, you're not going to be able to do what I'm about to show you. Make sure you are opening the multi output function. Okay, once you've created your instance of Machina, go ahead and load in your instruments that you want to play. You can do that by either drag and dropping right into each of these slots right here, or you can find a kit that you want to use from all the sounds that comes with Machina. Okay, so anyways, assuming that you already have all your um, instruments already loaded in and you're ready to create your beat, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enable record mode inside of machina 
Now, from this point, you don't have to do anything else with Machina. You just need to hit play in Logic and then start creating your beat. Once you have your beat created and you're satisfied with it, next thing to do is to route everything out in Logic. That way you can mix your beat. Now, I don't mix in Logic, so I'm going to go show you guys one extra step. But if you're going to be mixing right in Logic, then you do not need that extra step. But for now, let's go ahead and do the routing, okay? Now, there's different ways that you can do routing, but this way I found it to be the easiest, okay? As you can see, I have three different um, groups going on. I have group A, which is my drums, and then I have group B, which has a melodic instrument, and I have group C, which also has another melodic instrument. What I'm doing right now, group A is my drums, group A has more of the more instruments in it than the other groups uh, as you can see group a i have nine instruments going and group b i have one group c i also have one okay so that's that now we know um with the nine drum instruments and two melodic instruments that gives us 11 tracks in total so we need to Remember that number. We got 11 tracks that we need for Machina. Okay, so let's start with routing the drums. The easiest way that we can go about routing is by just opening up the mixing window. Once you open up the mixing window, you will see that everything is routed to group. If I go to group A, everything is routed to group. B, same thing. C, same thing. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to change it and make sure that each of the individual instruments all go into their own tracks. So what we're gonna do is, starting with the kick, um, actually I'm gonna start with the 808 because I want that to be all the way left. Uh, the 808, I'm gonna do that to X, EXT1, right? And then uh, for these, for the other ones, I'm just gonna put them in order as they are. I'm gonna do two. Okay, so I went ahead and did all the drums you got my 808 and the XD1, and then everything else just followed uh, followed through in order. So I got kick, um, snare, clap, and so on, all in order. Okay, and um, moving on to group B. Now, since this group only has one instrument in there, instead of doing that instrument going to an external, I'm just gonna do the whole um, section. Like this whole group, I'm going to do the whole group going to an external out. So I know we're already at 9, and I need 10. I need 11 in total, right? So I'm just going to send this one to EXT10. And group C, I'm going to send to EXT11. So if I go back to my drums, you will see 1 through 9. And then if I go back here, you'll see 10 and 11. Now we are pretty much done with Machina. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that we actually have a return track in Logic to receive the signal from all these different groups, right? If I hit play right now, you'll see everything is coming out of that one instance of the Machina track. That's not what we want. We want everything to be coming out of their own tracks. If you look in the bottom here, you will see a plus and a minus sign. We know we need 11 tracks, right? And I know my 8 is already routed to EXT1, which by default will be the main track for Machina. So instead of adding 11 more tracks, I just need to add 10 more, right? So since we already have one, we're going to be going to... Remember, we needed 11 tracks in total for Machina, including, this, including the master track, which is uh, this one. And then we just needed 10 more. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Now I got Machina routed, every single track routed to an output in Logic. So now if I hit play, you will see everything has their own tracks. <laughs> This is pretty much the entire workflow. Now, because I recorded everything in Machina, all I have is a loop. I have a loop going on, so if I just hit play.
regardless of where I am in logic, that same loop is just going to keep playing over and over and over and over, right? I need a way to arrange my song. And the videos that I watch to basically learn how to do this, you have to export everything that's in Machina right here to be inside of logic so you can create your arrangement. But the way that I want to work, I don't want to have to do all of that. I think that's a little redundant. You don't need to do all of that. So let me pull up a beat that I created um, the other day that is finished and you guys can actually see what my arrangement looks like in Logic before I exported it to go mix in Pro Tools. All right, let me pull this beat up. Okay, now I have a finished beat loaded up. Even though it looks like it's um, just getting started, this beat is actually done and ready to be exported for mixing in Pro Tools. Yes, I mix in Pro Tools. I don't like mixing in Logic because I don't like mixing in Logic. Get over it. Now, um, but the beat itself, as far as arrangement goes, it's done. Um, everything is done with Logic. The only thing left to do here is just export to mix in Pro Tools, right? So how do I do my arrangement in Logic when it looks like there's nothing in the timeline, right? If I hit play, You'll get to hear a little simple of how that works. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do the arrangement. All right. So. As you guys can hear that the 808 kind of came in um, later on, it didn't start right away. That's because now I no longer just have one loop just playing throughout the whole song. I have different sections that plays that comes in at different time. All right, let me show you guys how I did that. You can see I have an entire arrangement in Machina, right? I have an intro, bridge, hook, verse B, verse, hook, and so on, right? So what that is is basically uh scenes the way machina works is it doesn't work like logic does in a linear fashion where you just put one thing in front of the other and it works uh, machina works in what they call scene mode right if i go to where i created the scenes you will see that i have my different scenes here i have the hook and this is what's playing everything that is highlighted um brighter is what's currently playing for the current scene everything that's a little bit darker or not playing for the scene. All right, so I created, uh, first of all, I created the patterns. Once I finished with the patterns, I created the scenes. Now I need to place them in a way that they would come in at the right time, which is when we go into this uh, three little icons over here, that basically is the timeline equivalent to logic. I basically just say, okay, I want the hook to come in. Um, I want the, uh, the intro to come in first and then, um, the bridge and then i got the hook got the verse uh verse b verse and then the hook after the hook that's when the actual bridge comes in so now if i just hit play in logic you'll see basically follows logic so wherever i'm at in logic that's where the cursor is going to be in machina like i said i don't mix in logic so now i need a way to export this to be able to mix in pro tools and i want to export the sound to be able to mix in pro tools just like on the mix window i have the effects tracks that don't necessarily show up in the timeline if i needed to export those all i needed to do is just create those tracks in the timeline select them and export i don't need to actually print them to be able to export so using that to my advantage what i did i basically did the same thing for those tracks i just highlighted the tracks that are currently not in the timeline and then just right click and create tracks that added them to the timeline so now i'm able to just select them all and export. Once I export, all the sound that is running through all these empty tracks that you see up here will be exported, right? And they will export following the arrangement that I have in Machina. That is basically how 
I like to work using Machina and Logic. Now, once I create this export, I can go ahead and upload it into Pro Tools and I'm ready to go. That is basically it. That is the entire workflow. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and comment down below to show your support to the channel. And if you're new, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification for more videos like this. All right, I'll see you guys next time in the next video.